Hello and welcome to a short overview of Action Research. Action Research is a broad framework to support organised actions where the practitioner is the researcher. It's a very flexible model and it blurs the lines between the traditional notion of the researcher and the practitioner. It's very dynamic, it can be messy, it's full of innovative potential and it's a flexible framework. There are lots of different action research frameworks, but here's a basic structure. So stage one is planning your design process. You need to think about what you want to find out, what your inquiry is, how you might go about finding it out, your method, what has already been written on the topic, so a very brief literature review, how you'll gather the information, again the method, how you'll evaluate, evaluate your information and how you'll share your findings. You also need to consider research ethics, as in any kind of research project. In particular, the balance of power here between yourself as a researcher and any other roles you might have, such as a teacher or practitioner. Stage two, you act, you carry out your project. And while you're acting, you reflect in action. You can review and change track if necessary, but document if you do this. And again, continue to be mindful of ethics and use ethical frameworks as part of your reflection. In stage three, you'll analyse and consider your evidence and look for any patterns or trends. You'll draft some initial ideas and discuss these with peers for an informal peer review of your project. And then you need to think about how best to share your findings further so you can get more critical peer review. And here, again, action research is a really open model. Um, you could be have a visual or audio um, artifact or a mind map or an illustration or an exhibition. Um, the findings from action research don't need to be disseminated in a traditional paper, but they can be if you want them to. And stage four is one of formal review and dissemination. So you need to reflect again on your informal peer review and bring that peer feedback into your final piece of work. And you might at this point decide that actually your work isn't ready to share more formally, like a, a second iteration of a project. And if so, but if you do feel that it's ready to share, you could consider creating a final piece of work and disseminating this more formally, either at a conference, through more a formal peer review, or as part of an exhibition, or a performance, or an artefact. And then you need to think about what next. 